Welcome folks to Drakeyotic Plays. Welcome to the 1980s. That's right folks, we are back in this cozy comfy lake town of Providence. We are going to continue our day. We got a lot of mail to deliver it looks like today. I can never remember the damn controls. Um, looks like we have to go talk to Robert in the forest. Uh, we got a package out there. We got a package way out there to deliver. Bunch of stuff in town here. Um, to just follow up on the last video, we did go on a date. My main character here went on her first date with the lady that runs the video store. Everything good morning, worked out PO. good. PO, All right, let's see what we got. Will it be a P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then, I spend some time in Providence Oaks, and I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village and its well-mannered inhabitants. Did someone just call me well-mannered? <laughs> oh, I'll take it. Let's see I'll if the weather you. will behave today. A bit of sun to start the day, but mostly overcast heading into the evening. Back to the music. All right, so we're going to deliver the mail. Um, you know, this is an actually interesting game. I, I, at first, I wasn't, um, I don't know, hesitant on what this would be like. But, you know, it's kind of a nice little story. You know, she's here helping her dad just uh, deliver mails while dad's on vacation in Florida. She's taking a little vacation herself by helping out. All right, anybody home? All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. All righty. Well, hopefully, no one, no porch pirate comes and gets that. Forget how to walk faster. I know I could do it. Okay. Been a couple days since I played. All right, we got one of many, 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 many things to deliver. So where are we at here? Where can we go to make? Quicker. Oh shit. Let's hang a right. Alright, and I'll hit all the stuff up at the top. Shit, I can't. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go here and we're just gonna make a big circle and a loop around. And then we'll just make a circle around the back. So, where way did I say I'm gonna turn turn right? Okay. And I don't know if we're going to see the video store lady on this route or not. Actually, I think that's where we're going. Ooh, okay, we're going to see what happens. Alright, so last night we had our date. Now I'm going to deliver some packages to her and see what happens. Hey, bitch, what's up? Well, you've got some packages here. Hey you! Hi. Oh, nice. So I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Oh really? Got anything romantic? <laughs> sure do. Or, wait, you do mean movies, right? So, what's ah. on your mind, babe? All right, we're just going to go for it. I think I'm starting to like you a lot. And I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. <laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? <laughs> Touche. So anyway, what's on your mind? You look a little distracted. <sighs> yeah, uh, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? You feel that way about Providence Oaks? It's just that 
this whole flick shack adventure, I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. And in the wrong place? I think so, yeah. I think I'm just too different for this town. Plus, business hasn't really been booming. Uh, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong So I wonder time. if she's going to sure if she'll want to move with her back to the big isn't. city. Not yet. Not so I was hoping to keep anyway. Meredith here so in town. Yeah. Yes, I am. Uh, wow. I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up, but I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. You're welcome. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about your future, I mean? Yeah. I well, think I have. whatever it is, hold that thought. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. Aww. We hardly knew ye. Maharia. I'll swing by later. Aww. Now I'm kind of nervy. I mean, I kind of wanted Meredith to stay in the small town, but I kind of wanted to see where that goes. Is she going to want to go with her? Uh, why? <laughs> Anyways. Eh, it's life though. This is what this little game's about. Little, little adventures. Um, alright, let's deliver some mail. Let's get our minds off that. And we'll go see what the lumberjack has to offer. Maybe there's two options. Okay, think about it here. All right, guys. So the lumberjack lives in this area. Okay. She's he's one that's not gonna move. You know, if she wants to move back to Providence Oak, he would be the more. He'd be the one for that. Okay. If she was to move away, it looks like the video store lady would be the one. Romantic option for that option. Or I'm just overthinking it, whichever. Um, that's alright, let's continue and see. We get knock on the door. Ding, ding, ding. Anybody home? Nope. No answer. Your Adam and Eve order being delivered. Nope. Okay. Dude, dude. I don't even know if they had that in the 80s. <laughs> it's the, the CD or the cassette tape. Or, or, um, the publisher clearinghouse cassette tape order get 10 cassette tapes for only a 99 cent plus $50 shipping and handling <laughs> here's your mail sign up now All right, where was he going after this? Oh shit, how did I reach down there? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go around the circle, go straight. All right. Delivering mail on a sunny day on a pretty lake in, in the middle of nowhere. There's a free house in the trees. There's a person walking down with brown shirt. I'm on Jackson Street on the West Third Street, yeah. Delivering shit is my thing. Ooh, delivering mail is my thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, did I not pick up the package? So whatever you guys, um, there it is. Whenever you order stuff, do you like constantly like search the the shipping, <laughs> like constantly up like checking for updates? I'm bad at that, especially when it's something I've been like waiting for. All right, I mean, 
I'll Nobody wants to talk anymore. What the hell? Like, oh, the lady's taken. No one to talk to her anymore. Looking around the neighborhood. Gonna walk real fast over here. Do 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 do. Delivering mail today. Hey. All right. Deliver mail. Now, I was hoping the lumberjack um, with some paperwork. Um, I think I'm going to disappoint him though because uh, you know I'm already kind of like hitting it off with the video store clerk even though she's leaving what the fuck so shit where's the map okay uh, we want to hang right okay. a little mini map is just sometimes mini Mini, mini. Uh, and I want to hang up right here. Gonna drive over the curb because you know this is GTA style. What day of the week is it? Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, in this game, I'll be doing the um, hanging out with the hippies at the RV park. Oh, I'm getting in from this side now. Nice. All this time, I've been walking around the whole whole thing. All right, let's go here. Must be delivering mail here. Alright. Okay. Alright, now that mail is delivered in town, which way do I want to go? Might as well go left, hit the packages, and then do the quest. You know, deliver all the mail first. Do your job first, right? That's that's what you should do. All right. Look at that scenery, though. I mean, I feel like if you don't leave town. You're gonna screw things up with the chick with the video store. But if you stay and you're already in a thing with the video store chicken not the lumberjack. I I don't know how it's gonna end for her. I knew that this was part of the game when before I started playing, I knew this had some kind of like a deeper story to it. Um You know, you got your friends, you're re you're getting back the knowing, um, and you're just gonna pff, disappear, you know. But then again, you know, she's gotta think of herself. Why didn't I? It's so weird, it's not picking up the packages. What on earth did these folks order? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? What the hell? God dang hell is this? Yo bitch, what'd you got? Hi gang, package for you. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Um, what is it? Oh my God. I'm so excited about this. It's a guitar. I see, this is a guessing game. All right, is it a, a bunch of copies of the E.T. game? Ugh, I hope not. Okay. The suspense is killing me. Open it! Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! Super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old nice. guy was selling it. Apparently he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? 
Wow! Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, the synth is used everywhere these days, so I was like, yes, this is mine! <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. No kidding. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. If you like sampling machines, you should totally try out programming. Oh, man, I would love to. So much to do, so little time. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Pie. I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. She's what never getting now? this blueberry Anything pie. Else? Nah, I'm good. I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. So that was her best friend growing up. They kind of reconnected a little bit um, this past week. I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted because I know the week's going to go by quickly here. Um, the days when you're playing this game average about a half hour a day. Um, so it's a two week game. The game runs for two weeks. So what? 14 days, half hour piece of seven hours. Uh, worth a game and I'll be honest with you guys I'm recording about two videos a day when I play this or when I do sit down to play because I play it a day at a time I don't want super long videos for you try to keep them at a reasonable pace um, but it's been about a week since I played so this is actually I kind of forgot a little bit of how the story was going I know that the other postman is in trouble because he's gambling and he is doing gambling money on on the post office property or property or with post office like through the post office Accepting mail stuff or accepting mail, quote unquote, money in envelopes. So that dude's gonna be in trouble. Um, which tells me that when the dad comes back, that if that guy gets in trouble, there may be a spot open for my character to just continue being a mail postal person. Plus that's conflicting. She's also working with a computer programming company on a, I don't know, a diary program, a database program, or just, I don't know. Oh, there was a deer there, shit. Hold on. We're back. Uh, after crashing. Driving the rain. Going to deliver at an old rusty butt fuck. What the? What was I about? Sorry, I don't know what I was about to say. Um, an old rusted out. Now she's gonna get kidnapped here. Okay, yeah, it's not. It's not. Picking up the packages. Huh. Bet it's a golf club. Maybe a TV. Definitely not a chainsaw. Is there even a door to knock on? Nope. No answer. 
I'm glad there's no answer. I'm oh, let's get out of here. This is kind of creepy. All right, let's go talk to the lumberjack. If I can get out of this winding road. Okay. We got a lumberjack to talk to. I think I'm going to let him down. Talk about bitch crap. Okay, but let's go. Yeah, let's go this way. I think we'll go over the covered bridge. Now, like I said, I got this off of Amazon. Oh, it's not where to talk to him. Where do I talk to him? Um, and there is a DLC off of this. It's a holiday DLC. But since I got this through Amazon Gaming and it's on the Amazon Gaming app, I don't know if I'm going to get the DLC for it. Or else I totally would have got the DLC for this game. This is the holiday time right now. Hey, Meredith, I'm up here. No shit. Hey, Robert. Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. I'm really high up here. Should I come up as well? Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Loud and clear. Over. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Yikes. I'm glad there's people like you for that. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways. I figure it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, here? Really? Ugh, what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wild card plan. Right, your wild card plan. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound <coughs> studio. Get out of here. Are we going to do a tree version of We Are the World? Yes, I can do Bruce. We are the world. We are the children. That sounds great. I'll be... Bette Midler and just oh, sing along. yes. But no. Sorry. It'll be a radio message to get the people of Providence Oaks involved. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, probably better that way. Yeah, leave the singing to the pros. It'll be this afternoon, by the way, at Jack Reynolds' barn. Are you in? I could use an extra set of ears. A professional sound studio, huh? I'm sorry, but I already made other plans. Bummer. Oh well, I guess I'll manage. 
Now, I gotta get back up in that tree. Bye, Meredith. Bye. Good luck up there. Thanks. We are the ones to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Well, I did have other plans, so I don't know if that would affect the plans with the video school. So, all right, let's head back. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, Return to the post office. We'll go see what's up with uh, our friend over at the video store. And we'll go from there. Kind of interested on how the next day is going to go with the party at the, with the hippie. Um, Just considering they're talking about, come over, we'll have a smoke. <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, he's a postal worker. Don't they drug test these people all the time? Alright, let's go. Delivering mails done for the day. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mails done for the day. Alright, let's go get this delivered. I guess you could play this a couple times. That way you get one romantic with the... Lumberjack, you get, then you get the other romance with the with the worker. All right, we're gonna get a phone call. Yep, every day there's a phone call. Meredith, it's me. Oh, hi, Steve. I'm sorry, didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't. I'll look at them tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, short call. Got a rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. Thought I was supposed to go visit the... Uh, maybe it's tomorrow, the next day. All right. Here we go again. Oh, okay. Well. All right, folks. Oh, let's... Good morning, Miss Weiss. I guess we'll continue here. Good morning, Mr. Morning. I need to inform you that your colleague, Frank Coleman, has been suspended. Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. Huh. Well, all right, so he's in trouble. I knew that. I saw that coming. All right. Well, folks, thanks for joining us today. Um, we'll be back another time with some more Lake. And until next time, peace.